state capture doesn't happen overnight or in any kind of uh, limbo. Actually, uh, we understand that state capture is a political project aimed at seizing levers of state power in order to be able to change formal rules of the game so that uh, the suit the specific interests of uh, the narrow circle of individuals that are mostly linked to ruling political party or to their uh, relatives or uh, their friends. Of course, at the expense of public good and public interests. Uh, another aspect of uh, state capture is that uh, uh, they, it is aimed at control of enforcement of the law, implementation of the legislation, so that captures of the state are able to avoid prosecution, past and unpunished for the illicit uh, doings, but also to be able and or to be in the position to trap with the prosecution to anybody who pose to their rule. So you can, from what I said, you can assume uh, what are the difference between corruption and state capture. The, the key difference is a, is a, a seizure of levers of power that enables that uh, uh, outcomes of the activities of the captures are certain. In the corruption activities, corruption, corruptive um, uh, relationships, uh, outcomes are not so certain because there are so many actors involved and so many competitions.